You are tuning in to a special devotional video message from Haley Jungers. Haley serves as youth pastor here at Lifehouse alongside her husband, Corbin Jungers, and we pray that you are encouraged by her message today. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. We ask that you would um, just come fill our hearts, fill our, our minds, fill our souls. As we open the word, we want to learn more about you, and we want to be filled with the Holy Spirit and get your knowledge and your wisdom in our life, God. Uh, we thank you for healing and, and uh, just your power in our lives. We want to see you move today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um, so we're starting in Philippians 4. Um, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. So, always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing then the God of peace will be with you. And so focusing on verse 8 and 9, just fix your thoughts on what is true. And with everything that's going on with the coronavirus and just this time that we're in, it's so easy to think negatively and just think about all the things that are not good and are not true. But this is telling us to fix our thoughts on what is true and what is good. And that's the word of God. That is God himself. He is true and he is good. And so we need to be thinking about the things that are worthy of praise. And I love that in my Bible, this verse eight and nine, the section is, called, uh, is titled meditate on things, on these things. And so what better time to meditate and think than now because we have all the time in the world to be sitting and thinking and meditating but we need to make sure we're meditating and thinking on the right things on things that are good and things that are true because what we what we think is um, how we're gonna end up acting and so when we think something we're gonna end up saying that and when we say it we're gonna end up doing that and in this book that I'm reading there's a quote that says capable people take action to change the situation or they have enough faith to accept the things they cannot change and just right now we're not in a position really to be able to change what's going on but we can change how we're thinking and how we ourselves personally are acting and so we're also in positions to trust in God to believe that he has a plan and this time that he is giving us is for a purpose and it is for something and just to have faith um, and so in Proverbs 17, 22, it says, A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit drives the bone. And a merry heart just makes me so excited for thinking about Christmas, and it's just such a joyful and a time full of just so much light. And so why would we use this time to think on the negative and just all the darkness um, and things we can't change? Like, what are we doing if we're just thinking about things we cannot change? And God, it's like God is literally handing us. He's like, here, take this time that you've been asking me for. So many of us have been struggling to find time to do things, to be with family. And now God's given us this time. And now we're just complaining and we're not using it to press in. And so God is providing us with rest. He's providing most of us with just different opportunities to learn and to grow and to press in and learn and grow more in and about him. And he's also giving us time for family and we need to take advantage of that. And just like there is good in every single person, you have to choose to see it. And just like every situation, there is good, but we have to choose to see that good in this time right now. Just like God sees the light in every one of us and he sees it in you, he doesn't just focus on what we've done in the past or the darkness. He, he chooses to see the light and he calls us and he calls the light out of us. So 
It's mentioned in the Bible so many times, seek and you will find. And now is the perfect time to be seeking the light, seeking the truth, and we will find it. It's God's promise. And we have all the time in the world right now to be seeking that. So I just want to encourage you and I want you to remember to think those positive thoughts because while you're thinking positive, you're going to speak encouragement. And when you speak encouragement, you're going to end up acting in love. And so today I want you to choose to believe in the good trust in the truth and practice seeing it and practice speaking.